is this for? I have to kiss for everybody. Speaking of making a mess. Speaking of which. Come on now, uh, look who I got with us. Look who I brought. Huh? Hi, Leah. Oh, man. Huh? Look who I brought, Dane. I feel like I see you every day. Yo, Dane. What up, Dane? What up, Leah? This is the Jamaican days. OK. You right here in the middle, cuz. Yeah, right here. What you got today? Dane. We're going to have to switch up a little bit. Uh, we're going to make some Panang curry. I say Panang. Penang. Penang. Penang curry, yeah. It's like Penang. A, so you know red curry is more like a purple curry. Okay. But it's very similar to the red. And so we're just gonna make a badass veggie curry. I got a little tofu. I got some coconut milk. I got the Penang curry right here. Alright. That little nice. thing thing. That's what the Penang actually is? Yeah, this is, is it's right like here? a curry, it's a curry paste. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? I, I use a, a certain brand that is just fire straight from uh, India or Indonesia or something like that. Very specific. One of the Inns. Yes. Middle Eastern. Yeah. yeah, one of those, one of those guys. Yo, and I see that uh, I see no no uh, no meat on this one. What's nah, going on? Okay, I know you brought him here, but this is my dog. And I know one thing about my dog, he's a vegetarian. Nice. So you got you the know? mushrooms, you've been paying attention. I got the mushrooms. That's our protein. I got right? the zucchini, I got some Brussels sprouts, meat. Oh, hey, what is that? What's tofu, this? tofu, papa. Oh, I thought that was cheese. No, <laughs> it's, 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 it's tofu is, is vegetarian cheese, dog. It is. Pretty much. I got some lemon zest. I got some shallots. What you got in here? Is that chimichurri? Almost. <laughs> almost. It's some basil. It's like a, almost like a basil. I know pesto. it's no meat, but you're still giving me that chimichurri flavor. Yeah, damn right, right, bro. Cool, cool. And uh, let's see if you're really from Hialeah. You know what this is? Anybody? Hey, you. You got I'm not from Hialeah, so I guess I have a pass. This is called ahi cachucha. Ahi cachucha. Ahi cachucha. Everybody knows yeah. what it is. Just nobody knows what it is. Because it always <laughs> looks like this. But well, my dad's right. planting some of those right now, I think. Yeah. Hell yeah, trying to let me you. know. So, so, so Days, you, you're a vegetarian, huh? Uh, not really vegetarian, I just eat a lot more uh, vegetables. I eat fish every once in a while, but I don't really eat no meat at all. Oh, no good. steak, I haven't eaten meat for like about five years or so since uh, a while back. <laughs> Why, and why'd you make that, uh, that, that uh, switch? I mean, uh, more just for myself as well, for a couple other personal reasons, you know? Does it help your beard grow? Uh, yeah, definitely it does. <laughs> hey, look at this. You know, people talk about my beard. Hey, this is all beard, this is all my beard. Yeah. I know, I know it. You know, eight years. Well, give or sick, I can't even remember. I lost count. I think it has to be more than eight. Must have been. Uh, I'm like five years old. It's eight yeah. years. You got to add some weight on there, yeah. yo. I need to more down. veggies. My boy done <laughs> locked up the, the beard and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen yeah. years on this bad boy. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Seventeen, look at that. eighteen. And I said I got it braided. Usually you're not supposed to have like hair in the kitchen, but since it's his food, if there's a hair in there, at least I got yeah. someone to blame. My protein. Yeah. <laughs> my protein might probably help your beard grow. Yeah, it might. It might. It might. You no, too. So, you so, too. Yeah, well, listen, I can't I can't seem to connect. For some reason, I'm, I haven't gone through puberty, and I can't even connect like from here to here. It'll come. I got no chest hair. I got nothing. I think I'm going to be Lampino until I'm like 50. So, That's a good and a bad thing. It could be, you know. I like uh, you perspective, know. depending how people see it. Right. I, I like it. I, you know what the thing is though, with me? It's all about uh, your mental state. Of course. And I feel confident. No hair, a little pot belly. Yeah. But I it's, all, it's all inside. I get off in the beach in the pool like if nothing. Remember, dog, it's all a mental thing. So it's all Sorry. inside. It's yeah, yeah. No, it's cool, dog. Just throw hot mushrooms all over my hands. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they were, they're it's not good. Not. Yo, so what do you, what do you is, there, is there like a five second rule or something no, that applies here right now? Nah, no <laughs> There's no one, five no second one. rule in the whipping in the kitchen, I'll yeah, tell you we that. We're good. We're good. Oh, yeah, so, so what's up, man? Like, you are like a man of many hats. Like, tell us, like, what is it that you do? Like, what do you consider yourself? Because, I mean, I see you do so much. I mean, I, uh, I consider myself a creator. That's the main thing. I'm a, an artist of all sorts, of all sorts, all types. I mean, like you said, I do a lot. You do. I wear a lot I've of different your, hats. I've seen your photography. I've seen your creative direction. I've seen, I mean, your barber skills are off the chain. I mean, I mean not on yourself, but on everybody else. Yeah, so apparently, I'm, I'm, I'm too busy cutting other people's hair. I don't have no time <laughs> yeah, for myself. Yeah. You know they say the shoemaker's kids has no shoes, so, you know. <laughs> so. And, and for you, like, I like your style, especially with the, with the, with the photography, because you, you, I like, you. I like your, your use of, of dark. Thank you. You know, a lot of people always want to be uh, overlid and everything has to look so beautiful. And right, right, right. You, you take pride sometimes in the ugly I like, the dark. Exactly. I like to create the mood. Obviously, all of us have different moods, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So in my photography, I like to showcase emotions, feelings, you know what I'm saying? Like moments. 
And then at the same time, like it's just a bond between me and the actual model right. or whoever it is that I'm shooting. Right. I've tried to bond with models several times, and it, uh, it doesn't always work out that way. Yeah, it <laughs> never works. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna host a class. Uh, I'll give you a. Uh, I do. I need. I need. I need a class. I got you. I got you. Because I always think just with the food, it's enough. I can like I can just get up in there, but it's, it doesn't always work with the food, you know. Uh, you gotta experiment, bro. I experiment in the kitchen sometimes too. I be telling Frank, I'm like, yo, I tried this shit out today. A couple little spices, a couple little vegetables, and. Oh yo, let me tell you, I'm not a, I'm not a, like... Amentando. Yeah, yeah, but this, this smells really good right now, Frank. Oh yeah, and it looks good. In it. There's literally nothing in it. It's I mean, good. it's all vegetables, oil, a little bit of veggies. oil. We got a couple of, uh, a couple of the veggies are, you know, like the Brussels sprouts, they tend to be a little hard. Yeah, yeah, I tried. The zucchini right at first is... I tried easy. doing some of the Brussels sprouts one time too, and they, like you said, they're very hard, and then... You gotta core them, though. You cut them in half, they're like a little cabbage, so if you're gonna cook a cabbage, right. a big one, you cut it, you, that big triangle right, in it, right, get right, it out. Right. And then, from around that you pull out the layers, which are on a Brussels sprouts, super small. The smell in here right now is just... So what you been up to? Man, you know, we've been working a lot, bro. Yeah, I uh, see you guys doing this over here. I'm, I appreciate you yeah, guys man. having me here. And, uh, of course. We've been working a lot, man. Uh, you know, we took advantage of, of uh, unfortunate situations that have happened. And, and like any Dade County hustler... Of course, you we have to evolve we, and adapt. We evolved and, and adapted and... Uh, we're, you know, cr we're creators. We're creators. So 100%. we created something. Yes, sir. One hundred percent. And the way I see it is that you create something out of nothing. A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and me and Frankie, those are things that uh, I think that have always solidified our friendship is that we've always been that way. You know, since we met, we always did graffiti. We right, we, right, rapped, right. we did beats, and it's kind of seemed like whatever we decided to do. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're a real creator, whatever you put your mind to do, I think you can do it. You know, even right now, like I'm not the cook on the show. But, uh, but 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 I can throw down too. I can throw down in the kitchen. Maybe not no panang funk that we got going right, on right, right, right now. Right. I'm talking I about more like, like chicken nuggets and. I can throw it down. I can throw know? it down. I told him to buy an air fryer, dog, because the air fryer is really good. I've been using the air fryer. Yo, it's been dope. Yo. Everything in the air fryer, cause yeah, I'm like, I, sweet potato we fries. need an air fryer sponsor. Yeah, I've done every, big sweet potatoes. I've done everything, dog. Yo. Uh, Corvino, salmon. Frankie's I've done been like everything. the spokesperson for this. Yo, we need a sponsor. Air fryer. Yo, we need an air fryer sponsor. Or we we need, got you. Let we me need know. To make one with your name on it. Yeah, that's Fuck what we that need shit. to do. We need that sponsorship, dog. Oh yeah. So look, check this out. I know. We're it's manifest. It's manifest. But look, dog. <laughs> so look, I'm gonna ask you something, dog. Some real shit. All right. I'm from Hialeah, dog. Okay. Right. We're from the same neighborhood. I didn't always know you my whole life or nothing like that. But, but we I knew always people. knew. We were connected. Yeah, we definitely have, you know, friends in common, Derek G. You know, shout out to Derek G and everybody. But uh, I'm from Hialeah, though, and a lot of people say, oh, that guy looks like he's from Hialeah. Mm -hmm. And I could probably pick out a Hialeah guy from the crowd, though. Right. You've never been that dude, though. You've huh. never been the dude that looks like everybody else in Hialeah. Your, your look is like super out there, or, you know, right. it, the peladito and the whole thing is, is, is nothing compared to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't, it, it's nothing like that, dude. Why? What, what, what is it about you that makes you, like, just want to be, like, mad different from everybody else in the area, cuz? I mean, honestly, bro, it's just, like part, I said. Part of your DNA. Yeah, I mean, honestly, certain things that I like, like, I'm, I love tattoos. I got tatted up completely from head to toe, literally. My tongue, my mouth, everything. First time I met you was at a tattoo convention. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people back in the day in Hialeah weren't as tatted up. At that mm -hmm. time, I started getting tatted up from a homie of mine, and then people were like starting with Miami Ink that they were just getting something done because mm -hmm. it was frowned upon. Yeah, yeah, man, all those, right. all those, those right, Joker right. guys, right? All those unoriginal like Joker guys got tattooed right, right, from right, Miami right. Ink, right? <laughs> hey, hold on a second. Hold on, 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 and I'm pretty sure you go like this, there's another one in there, dog. Yeah. Just because I know you're good enough, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, pass a plato, dog. Well, I, 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 got, a, I got a couple food. tattoos, too. Yeah, but they're not. <laughs> I don't want to see your secret tattoos. Hold on. I got one that, uh. <laughs> I got one that says uh, MS on my, uh. Yeah, right on my, um, on the side of my shaft. But, uh -huh. but when I, you know, when I get excited, it says Mississippi, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. Fire. Recently, I'm gonna throw a shit on my girl. Recently, like recently, you've been into the uh, into the cannabis game, right? Like in yeah. the CBD cannabis game. Oh, Talk to shit. us a I mean, bit about that. Not, it's been a couple years, uh, not so much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully, uh, it gets a lot better now here in Florida. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh, 
The, honestly, it was out with my mom. It started with my mom. I got her with a CBD thanks to a couple companies and stuff like that. And then it did a whole turnaround on her. So I seen the benefits and how much it... The true medicinal benefits. Of course, yeah. I seen the actual benefits of somebody who was in one state to now how she is now. And you've seen her now. Yes, yeah, she if looks you, happy. Yeah. She looks... If yeah, you would have seen her from the beginning, how they primia and how, like, you know, like, right. they started giving her a little more of a boost. And then obviously me being on top of her, changing her lifestyle as well, it's, that's what you got to do. Right. If you got to do it for yourself, you know what I'm saying? There's some people who could back you up about it, but the rest is, has to be you. So it's 50-50. And I love that you're so passionate about it, bro, because it, 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 it was because close it, to home for you. Because it saved my mom's life. That's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that behind the scenes that people don't see what I went through with my old girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? They didn't see those situations that I had to go, hospital, shit like that, because of malpractice or something of that of that nature. And the CBD really helped her out, right? Yeah, it helped out a lot. And now I got her actually on the medical part, so I go to the dispensary, I grab her oils, and I basically dose her, because I know a lot. I had to sit there and research certain amounts, certain dosaging for somebody of that, you know? And at the same time, coming from a back, uh, Hispanic background, you know? Right. Changing the person's mind and breaking the stigma, the simple fact like, yo, this is a drug, this is a drug. Right, right, like, because that is a stigma with the older stigma. generations, right? And especially in Hialeah. You get especially one of these old ladies Hialeah. or somebody, oh, no, no, somebody, oh, I'm gonna go to the and they leave. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And at the same time, it's like, nah, mom, hold on, you're taking all these other fucking shits right here. How about this, this is a, a plant? Right, you right, and you're, <clears throat> and you're taking all these other medicines from these doctors, yeah. and you don't know what's in there. Yeah. You can OD off that shit, but the most you're gonna get is here is the munchies, which I'll make you a vegetarian meal, or I'll call Frankie over here and just make <laughs> right. your shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, like, you'll probably pass out and go to sleep, right. but you're not gonna OD. You're not gonna have to go to the emergency room at fucking right. three o'clock in the morning because yeah. some shit happened or I find you there. That's awesome, man. So that's, that's awesome. one. You speak that's one that, step that why passion. I go. Why I go push so hard. Not that it's like, oh, I'm supposed to be like, oh, cannabis, cannabis. Like, nah. Like, yo, you've seen it firsthand. Right. Here's my living proof, my testimonial. Right. You awesome, know what I'm, I'm glad to see your mom's doing a lot better. I appreciate bro. it. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man. For real, dog. And we all see it. You know what I'm saying? I, we all, I, I brought, her, I brought her out there. And you see her shoot Did munch you, out yeah, and shit. Yeah, for sure. You put some salad on my, on my. It's food. a little bit of microgreens. You know, just okay. some a little crunchy and a little cold on top of all this hot. You know, stuff nice. going on right now. This ought to go real well with my Moscow Mule. Yeah, man, you put some CBD in the put Moscow Mule. I did. I, I, brought, I, put some, I put some of that uh, strawberry. Uh, the strawberry cough from Hymerica. Yeah, from Hymerica, man. This yeah. was uh, it was amazing. I feel I feel super relaxed. Hymerica. And very focused right now. Yo, shout out Hymerica. Shout out to Keep Hymerica. Keeping them calm, no? Yes. Thank shout you, Hymerica. You've Hymerica. gotten Keeping me through this yeah. wonderful it's a well episode. lifestyle, bro. That's right. You know? Now, Frankie, mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you, cuz. What's up? I got to be honest with you when I do this. Yeah, I said, you know, no, no, you got to be honest. You know what? Gotta... I haven't eaten anything all day. Good. Literally. Good. Literally. I see the so I've, I've, you know what? I've been fasting today. Yo, I, did, fasting. I did a little bit of fasting. And I've been cooking fast. Right. So, uh, you know, it's not wow. the same. Yeah, what do you think? All up. Well, right off rip, super spicy. Yes. But good. Yeah, yeah, it's flavorful, spicy. It hits you like, uh, you know, like it's that. You need another bite type of spice. The Fromunda cheese is incredible. The Fromunda yeah. cheese is great. That's tofu. It's organic tofu. That's all right. Yeah. Yo, this is so good. You like it? Mm-hmm. Dope. Yo, I can... So good. I'm glad. I can fuck this so up, good. though. Hell yeah. That's very good. A little bit sweet from the cocoa, yes? Yo, sweet, yeah? And then you got the, the carrots, the Brussels the sprouts in there. The, the sweetness of the cocoa kind of balances out a little bit. Dope. Very, very spicy. Good. good though. You know what I'm saying? Really good. Yeah, and one thing I didn't mention, we, we roasted was it, some... Was coconut milk you poured? Yeah, coconut milk for, for the curry, hell yeah. Mm. You, gotta, kind of you gotta serve this at your uh, at the big restaurants because so, well, it has a, has a bar. Yeah, because La Mesa. Because this will make, uh, make people drink. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. La Mesa has a similar, similar version. It has cilantro rice and it's a seafood curry also. Very, very good, dog. Very yeah, yeah, tasty. Good. But all the way, like, what, what we do is we... Keep this dish. Good. Thanks, bro. Give it a little crunch. You know what we do is we keep it um we keep it on the menu like as a fish item, but it says vegetarian option available. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, it's just so easy to just take out the put fish. anything. You know that sauce is so pungent and it's so yeah. like bright and in your face. You know with the basil and you know I don't know. I love basil and coconut. What I really love about this Frank is that on first bite everything hits you like a freight train. Hell yeah. All the spices, all the, everything just all at once, the crunch, the sweet, the spicy, everything. And it takes you a little bit to kind of discern. Yeah, a lot of people add spices. And it definitely clears up your sinuses. Yeah, you're damn right. You're mm -hmm. damn right. I cleared It'll up keep my you taking bites, so. Yeah, yeah, this is good. <laughs> That's a different kind of clearing, though. Don't clear it like him, though. What do you think, bro? He's talking about like drug free, you know, CBD, be healthy. Hello, I stuck my head over. Uh, he didn't say nothing about the connect, but I know about it. 
Because I went through it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably live. I went through it, so I know it. Now, did I choose? Do I still continue on that path? Yeah, of course no. not, bro. Of course not. We, we grew up, dog. Yeah, of you course. Know what but that's why we, we grew up. That's why. You had a little beard once. You hear me? Uh, 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 uh. Dave, you enjoyed the meal? Does it look like it? Yeah. <laughs> it looked like you dropped it on the floor. <laughs> I've been eating all day. I do this for a living. Yeah. I don't fast till I get to the show. I'm eating all day. Guess what I'll be in today? You know what? Pretty much nothing. We're going to have to switch roles on a Friday, Freaky Friday one day. I would love to. Don't go on a Freaky Friday competition. I would love to just hang place. out till I get to sh I get to shoot all the hot models and eat CBD all day while you get to come here and eat with Frankie. Yeah, but you got to go ahead and contact them, email them, style them, do all that stuff. Make sure that they're in order, timing, location, Listen to the edit problems. the pictures, sit there, look at them, take all that shit out, put them back, send it to them, reply, yeah, yeah, make sure that they're posting, make sure that they tag you, credit you, hashtag, and all the other crazy shit. Uh, forget <laughs> it. All the just stuff that we ask for that you guys don't do, <laughs> we need you to do. That's do the only it. way we can obviously to connect each other. Connect. No, no, I think I'll just stick with La Hama and whip it in the kitchen. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll supervise. Cook. I'll yeah, supervise. I'll cook. That, that job will be super bad for my life. You know what? My wife will hate me I'll more. I'll, I'll taste it before you eat it and make sure how spicy it is. If you can handle that. Yo, can you bring any of those model girls over one day to like one of these Don't episodes do it, or something? Don't okay. Do it. Don't do it. There's a couple of them that you shoot with. Remember, right? I'm, I'm married as hell. Fond of. He's single as hell, so it's kind of like weird. Whenever he starts asking single, for like... <laughs> when he starts asking for women and drugs and shit, I kind of like, you know, try to change the subject. Fuck that. Your wife knows exactly who I am, and I've been this way no, for a long knows. time. She knows me, bro. Oh, man. Yo, it was incredible, dog. Yo, Pan Ang. Yo, thank you. You a Pan Ang player, bro. Pan Ang. Pan Ang.com. You know what I'm saying, dog? The player from the Himalayas. Thanks, dog. Let's get this plate out of here. Hey, Days, uh, let's see if we go get some more of that CBD that you got in the bag, bro. Let's I do got it. it back there? You already know, man. Whip it in the kitchen. We whip it in the kitchen. Hey, yo, Dave. We got to sign up. You've been hey. quiet the whole episode. Yeah, yeah, yo, I appreciate it. I'm just doing my team, you know? I'll do my thing. All, All right. right, we out of here, dog. Y'all boys know. take it easy. Well, I'll see you later, cuz. Let's come on. Take it easy. Come with us. Let's go. We got shit right here.